Hey, my name is Ben Salstrom. I'm a refrigeration technician, and today I'm going to show you why you should always replace the filter dryer when working on refrigeration equipment and you've opened the system, especially if you're installing some kind of a major compo component like a compressor or otherwise. Uh, I've just finished removing the filter dryer from this unit here, and I've cut open the filter dryer. I'm just going to show you <coughs> how it works here. This is the top of the filter dryer. The refrigerant comes out of this pipe here, goes into this um, cap there. Here's the remainder of it. And so down inside of here is um, a bunch of little balls. This thing was actually originally all the way full of these little um, little balls, and they absorb uh, the moisture in the system and other contamin contaminants. So now I'm just going to show you here. I'm going to dump these beads out and see what else comes out of this dryer as we get this dumped out here. There we go. As you can see, there's a lot of debris in there, especially this black dirt stuff. That stuff uh, probably broke out of the compressor when the compressor failed and uh, caused this dryer to plug up. And we can see down inside of here that even though I've already dumped it all the way out, there's all these little balls that are still stuck in there. Let's see if I can... And now if I do this... I don't know if I'd recommend doing this. I, I've already clipped it off and the cap tube is clear on this end. Um, but if I go like this and I blow through this, you don't hardly get any air coming through there. So anyway, this has been why you always need to replace the filter dryer on a piece of refrigeration equipment. Talk to you later.